Now supposing you are worshipping today Sri Ganesh. So why are you worshipping Sri Ganesh? You are worshipping because your Ganesha must be awakened. That you should have the qualities of Sri Ganesha. That you should feel that innocence in your eyes. Otherwise you are a hypocrite. If you are sitting here and worshipping Sri Ganesha and you are not trying to put your attention to your ascent as Sri Ganesh, then it is useless. As Sri Ganeshwara has beautifully said, Niranjana Pahani, to see without any reaction, just to see. That is the quality of innocence which was brought to light by Christ, our Lord. The first thing you must ask for is the pure Ganesha, Nirmal Ganesha. Oh Mother, please give us the blessings of establishment of purity in our Ganesh Prisma. In relationships, in attitudes, in behavior, try to judge yourself. Are you innocent? You pay attention to Sri Ganesha and establish Him through your thought, because now your thought is divine, in the Muladhar Chakra with great respect. Now when you put your attention onto that chakra, put your feelings towards Him, a feeling of love and adoration to Him to begin with, and then to manifest compassion. You have to ask nothing but one thing that, O oh God, of innocence, give innocence to all the people of the world. But first you have to be innocent to ask that, otherwise uh, it is unauthorized asking or you can say uh, you have no right to ask. So once you decide that I am nothing, I am nothing, I am just a li little ripple in the heart of my mother. Let my wisdom shine in my attention. Let Sri Ganesha throw His light in my attention. That today we should desire that our children should very soon become the images of Sri Ganesha, His Ganas. Now the best way would be to pray. Prayer is very great thing for Sahaja. Pray with your heart. First of all, you must ask for strength from Mother. Give me strength so that I be genuine. I won't deceive myself. We are deceiving ourselves morning to day. Give me strength that I face myself and say it with my heart that I try to improve myself. Because these are Defects which are not your own, they are outside. They, if they fall off, you'll feel all right. You'll be perfect. Now, then you should ask for forgiveness. Pray for forgiveness. There should be prayer said that forgiveness. 
because I've been ignorant, I do not know what to do. I've done mistakes. That is the first thing one has to ask, is the forgiveness. The second thing you ask for is give me a sweet tongue, a method by which I become communicative with Others respect me, they like me, they like my presence. Give me strength, give me love, give me that beauty of culture, beauty of understanding that everybody loves me, wants me, asks me. In the prayer you ask that, O oh Lord, give me the sense of security of my spirit, so that I, I do not feel insecure and by which I trouble others all the time. Give me a sense of my own dignity so that I do not feel that I am belittled or somebody has belittled me. If you are at a higher position, nobody can belittle you. It's only you belittle by your foolishness. And talk to me. Ask for strength that give me my witness state. Give me satisfaction. Ask for me satisfaction. Let me feel my satisfaction from what I have. Whatever I have, whatever I eat, everything, take up my attention away from all these things. You know that your attention is in the stomach. And those who are very much interested in in food, in that liver, in any case, whatever you may talk. In anything like this, wherever my attention is going, please give me strength to pull it back. Chittani Teach me how to avoid things that tempt me, that take away my attention, take away my thoughts. Give me with Tanirup. Teach me how to avoid things that tempt me, that take away my things, take away my thoughts. Give me witness state by which I see the whole drama. Let me never spite others. I criticize. Let me see my mistakes, not others. Let me see why people are not happy with me. Give me strength to have a very sweet love and a sweet nature so that others like my company. They enjoy my company. Let me be like a flower and not like a thorn. You have to pray. All these prayers are going to help. Then ask for the greatest prayer which you should ask that please keep me away from Egypt. That gives me ideas that I am superior to others, I am better than others, or in any way it takes away my weakness and my humility. Give me natural humility by which I can penetrate into the hearts of people. Just you have to bend your head and you go up to your heart. You have to bend your head. Just to bend your head and there is your heart where it sighs the spirit. Be with it. If you are anyway hurting your ego or you are hurting somebody's ego, it's just the same. You are behind in the same manner, in the same egoistical manner. So try to understand that these things have to go. It's best is to pray and ask for help. Prayer is a prayer with you, but with your heart, pray that God give us strength and that growth that we can please our mother sometimes. We want to please our mother. We want to see her happy. The only thing that will really give me happiness is that the way I love you, we love each other. That Sri Ganesha, please give kind and merciful and forgiving that you manifest within ourselves. Let all these hypocritical things, all these conditionings and all these wrong ideas we have or all the wrong life we have had, 
should just disappear like thin air and let the beautiful moonlight of your soothing qualities of innocence be manifested through us. Let us manifest these qualities. This is what is to be asked. Let us all thank God that He has been so kind, that He gave us realization in our own house, in our own family. But let us also think about it, what did we do about it? Lord, you are the one who has given us the greatest of greatest, the highest of highest. If you look upon it, you are the one who is a symbol of the height we have to be. And I am a person who used to think I am very great. Till I saw your greatness here, the way you bear the snow upon your head and the way you reach the depths of our heart. Please remember that it is not important what you do for Sri Yoga, more important what I feel about. If you have to be something greater, humble down here. Humbling down is very, very important. Nobody has to think that we can achieve something greater high by dominating it. So today is the day when we have to introspect. So should we go into meditation, all of us? Please close your eyes. All of you close your eyes. Now we all will do the meditation the way we have been doing uh, in the halls wherever we had public programs. So the first you have to put your hand on your heart. You will work on the left hand side and the left hand towards me. Now first of all you put your hand on your heart. In the heart resides Shiva, is the spirit. So you have to thank your spirit that it has brought light to your attention because you are a saint and the light that has come in your heart has to enlighten the whole world. So please now in your heart you pray that let this light of my love of the Divine spread to the whole world. With all sincerity and understanding that you are connected with the Divine and whatever you desire will happen with full confidence in yourself. Now put your right hand in the upper part of your abdomen, on the left hand side on the upper part of your stomach, on the left hand side and now here is the center of your dharma. Here you have to pray that let Vishwa Nirmal Dharma spread in the whole world. Let people see the light through our dharmic life, through our righteousness. Let people see them and accept the Vishwa Nirmal Dharma by which they get enlightenment and a benevolent higher life and a desire to ascend. Now, take your right hand in the lower portion of your abdomen, of the stomach, on the left hand side, press it. Now this is the center of pure knowledge. Here, you have to say as a yogis that our mother has given us the full idea how the Divine works. She has given us all the mantras and all the pure knowledge that we could bear and understand. Let me 
fully be knowledgeable about that. All of us, I have seen if the man is a leader, the wife doesn't know a word about Sahaja Yoga. If the woman knows about Sahaja Yoga, the husband doesn't know anything about it. Let me be proficient and an expert in this knowledge. So that I can give realization to people, make them understand what is divine law, what is Kundalini, and what are the chakras. Let my attention be more on Sahaja Yoga than all these mundane things. Now put your right hand in the upper part of your abdomen, close your eyes. Now here, on the left hand side, press it. Now here, Mother has given me the Spirit and I have my own Guru, which is the Spirit. I am master of my own. Let there be no abandonment. Let there be dignity in my character. Let there be generosity in my behavior. Let there be compassion and love for other surgeries. Let me not show off, but have a deep, deep knowledge about God's love and His doings. So that when people come to me, I should be able to tell them about Sahaja Yoga and give them this great knowledge with humility and love. Now raise your right hand on your heart. Here you have to thank God that you have felt the ocean of joy and you have felt the ocean of forgiveness. And the capacity to forgive as our mother has, which we have seen is so tremendous. Let my heart expand and encompass the whole universe and my love should resound the name of God The heart, every moment, should express the beauty of God's love. Take your now right hand in the Vishuddhi, that is on the left Vishuddhi, between the neck and the shoulder in the corner. I will not indulge in two the falsehood of guilt, because I know it is falsehood. I will not escape my faults, but face them and eradicate them. I will not try to find faults with others, but in my own knowledge of Sahaja Yoga, let me remove their faults. We have so many ways secretly we can remove the faults of others. Let my collectivity become so great that the whole Sahaja Yoga race is my own family, my own children, my home, my everything. Let me get that feeling completely, innately built within myself that I am a part and parcel of the whole because we all have one mother. And let my concern go to the whole world to know what are their problems and how can, through my true desire, power, solve that. Let me feel the problems of the world in my heart 
and innately to remove all of them from the basis of which they are from the basis from which they are generated let me go to the principles of all these problems and try to remove them through my sahaja yoga powers through my saintly powers now put your right hand on your forehead across now here you have to say first of all i have to forgive all those who have not come in sahaja yoga those who are on the periphery who come and go who jump in and jump out but first of all and foremost i have to forgive all the sahaja yogis because they are all better than me i am the one who tries to find faults with them but i am at the lowest ebb and i have to forgive them because i must know that i still have to go very further i am still much less i have to improve myself this humility has to come within us so you have to say here let the humility in my heart in a true sense not hypocritical work out this feeling of forgiveness so that i bow to reality to god and to sahaja yoga now you have to put back your hand on the back side of your head and push back your head here and you have to say here oh mother whatever wrong we have done to you so far and whatever wrong goes in our minds and whatever smallness we have shown to you whatever way we have troubled you and challenged you please forgive us you have to ask for forgiveness in your intelligence you should know what i am i don't have to tell you again and again not at sastara you have to thank me at sastara i put your hand move it seven times and thank me seven times mother thank you very much for the realization and mother thank you very much for making us understand how great we are and thank you very much for bringing all the blessings of the divine and thank you very much for raising us higher much higher than from where we were and also thank you very much for sustaining us and for helping us to improve ourselves and correct ourselves and thank you very much ultimately that mother you have come on this earth taken your birth and working so hard for us for all of us Press it hard and move it hard. Now many people should uh, try this thing, sitting in a group together, meditating, saying the mantra of Sri Ganesh to try to build up. Those who think too much, they should also try to say, not this, not this, not this. even the super ego when it gives you thoughts you should say not this not this not this. so you will develop that state where you stand yourself and nothing else in a sense plays but it is not involved it sees the play just see it enjoys the play just enjoys So today, when we are thinking of Sri Ganesh, let us desire that within us His great power of innocence be enlightened. To manifest Sri Ganesha, we have to do certain amount of the Pasya. Very nice. First, we have to say. and we sit for meditation that i am going to be worthy of your appreciation make me humble so that i am appreciated by you and my only desire is to please then you sit down in complete preparedness meditating 
over your muladhara, putting your attention to it, it's absolutely true. You have my photograph before you, and you tell the photograph that Mother, you who are the Ganesh, Sri Ganesh. You give me wisdom and discretion. So the best thing is to say that, Mother, come in my brain. Please reside in my brain. Please make your room in this brain. You be the controller of this brain. Let this brain be guided by your divine wisdom. Mother, please come in my heart. Let me clean my heart so that you are there. Put your feet into my heart. Let your feet be worshipped in my heart. Let me not be in delusion. Take me away from illusions. Keep me in reality. Take away the sheen of superficiality. Let me enjoy your feet in my heart. Let me see your feet in my heart. Today, in the presence of Sri Ganesha, you have to take an oath that whatever is the past of my life, I will get opposite to that. Like I would say, Indians are not very good with the money. Money matters, they can be very horrid and sometimes uh, uh, they create a problem with money matters. So one has to know that we have to be absolutely astute as far as money is concerned. I know, we learned here, we say comprendre de manière correcte souvent avec des questions d'argent. Eh bien, il faut prendre la vie diamétralement opposée et des corrections et réprochables. It is not sufficient only to be something uh, innocent, but it is more that it should be proved that people should know that you are not innocent. Like I asked my son in law, is a very honest man, whether this would be honesty. So he answered, This may be honesty for outside purpose, but it is not in the essence of honesty. So that is how you have to be honest in the essence of strength and that new dimension and will show to the world that you be just the opposite of what has been so bad before. Strongly against all that you were before in the darkness. That is the sign of your character. And of your strength. And will show to the world that your spirit, which is enlightened within you, has given you that strength and that new dimension. So the second oath we have to take before Sri Ganesha is that I will be honest to myself. I will not deceive myself for anybody's sake. Now the third great thing about Sri Ganesha is that for him no gods exist except his mother. 
caractéristique essentielle de Sri Ganesha, c'est que pour lui, aucune déité autre que sa mère. And you know all the stories about Sri Ganesha, how he adored his mother. Et vous connaissez, en lisant les histoires de la mythologie, comment il a adoré sa mère. Because he knows his mother is the power. Parce qu'il sait que sa mère est le pouvoir. And that he is the source of your wisdom. He is the source of your wisdom. He, Sri Ganesh. He is the embodiment of wisdom. And the greatest wisdom he has that it is better to worship the mother than anybody else because she is the power. La plus grande sagesse qu'il a, c'est qu'il vaut mieux manifester. Il vaut mieux vénérer la mère plutôt que quiconque, car la mère est le pouvoir. According to him, even the father, if you have to meet, you have to go through the mother. And secondly, father is just a witness. Selon lui, dans la relation au père, d'abord, si vous voulez atteindre le père, vous ne pouvez que passer par la mère. Et de toute manière, le père n'est que le témoin. All his security. All his powers, all his beauty, in a sense, comes from his mother. Sa sécurité, son innocence, son pouvoir, sa beauté vient de sa mère. So, with the third oath, you have to take that for us, our mother is so powerful. Why should we be afraid of anything? So, for us, the third serment is that because our mother is If she is going to give us the wisdom, why should we try to seek it anywhere else? I appear very innocent sometimes. But my innocence is complete intelligence, I think. And that is the reason, you see, people take time to accept. But people like Sri Ganesh, who are the wisest of all, know the trick. The another oath we have to take today that we respect every Sahaja Yogi from our heart because they are made in the form of Sri Ganesh. Nous prenons, c'est que du fond du cœur, nous respectons tous les sages Jayogi et chacun des sages Jayogi parce qu'ils ont été conçus dans la forme de Sri Ganesha. We'll not make fun of them. Nous ne moquerons jamais d'eux. We'll not laugh at them. Nous n'allons pas rire d'eux. As long as they are in Sahaja Yoga, we have to respect. Aussi longtemps qu'ils sont dans Sahaja Yoga, nous allons les respecter. But they can be thrown out. Mais c'est clair, ils peuvent se faire éjecter. They can get out of it. But unless and until this happens, do not put your ego on other people. Don't think that you understand everything. Don't think that you know everything. Respect each and every person. Respect chacun, person. Not for what he has read or what he has learned, but because he is a great soul. So you are here as saviors and you have the power of Sri Ganesha which is to be used. So today's puja is specially to be done with a prayer in your heart that Sri Ganesha, please be kind and merciful and forgiving that you manifest within ourselves. Let all these hypocritical things 
all these conditionings and all these wrong ideas we have or all the wrong life we have had should just disappear like thin air and let the beautiful moonlight of your soothing qualities of innocence be manifested through us. Let us manifest these qualities. This is what is to be asked today. So please be careful, very careful about it, that you again make your Muladhara very healthy and powerful. May God bless.